More outrage over lax sentencing when it comes to violent criminals. This after a 15-year-old arrested for randomly killing a St. Paul woman who was just driving down the road. Fox Lines Karen Scullin joining us now with more on the victim, Julia Lee, and the young suspect with a lengthy criminal history. Karen. Julia Lee was 35. She was a 35, 34 year old woman, rather, with an extremely bright future. Her life taken allegedly by a 15 year old who many say should have been behind bars. Julia was uh, uh, beloved by everyone that knew her. Originally from Kazakhstan, but she fell in love with the Twin Cities while in school and she and her husband moved here. She had a uh, really an energetic smile. Uh, a can-do spirit. One week ago today, Lee was shot and killed just while driving down the street in the Payne Phelan neighborhood. It's shocking. It's uh, it's upsetting. It makes you angry. It makes you angry that um, uh, that our government officials are not doing more to make certain that criminals like this aren't taken care of. And many would agree with him. At just 15 years old, the suspect in Lee's case has a stunning criminal history. For starters, he was given just a 41-month stayed sentence in September for his role in an aggravated robbery where victims were held at gunpoint. One victim was shot. He was serving probation for that crime when Julia Lee was shot and killed. But according to sources, there's a lot more. January 2021, he was involved in another carjacking. June 2020, a victim was carjacked at gunpoint. The juvenile suspect given 180 days probation. October 2019, at 12 or 13 years old, he was arrested for fighting. He has also been involved or suspected in a burglary, aggravated robbery, discharging a weapon. At 14, he was caught driving and in possession of a half bar of Xanax. He's also currently a suspect in an active investigation from December, where two people were shot and injured. All of us are a little scared. There's carjackings, and carjackers then become random murders. St. Paul Police Chief Todd Axtell released this statement. Sadly, this is yet another example of how our system has failed to put victims first, failed to help a young person going down a dangerous and destructive path, and failed our entire community. And speaking to Julia Lee's murder, he went on to say this tragedy was entirely preventable. The suspect in Julia Lee's murder is expected to be charged as an adult sometime next week. He's currently in jail for Lee's murder and for other unrelated crimes as well. Randy? All right, Karen, thank you.